everyone welcome back to my channel so this video is on particle day and just like me they also can be used to denote locations but there is a slight difference between both of them and apart from that again just like me it does have um, further usages as well so let's look at it one by one first one so to show the location of an action so how do you distinguish this between um, me and they it's something very similar to what we have in English. Um, we, you say, I live in Japan, I live in Tokyo, generic locations. Whereas you are doing something, you want to meet someone, there's some action happening. I want to meet, let's meet at a cafe. So you don't interchange both. You don't say, I live at um, Tokyo and you don't say, let's meet in cafe. That's the same here. So the knee will be your in and they is your act. So when there is something happening specific and there is an action involved, you use act. Else, if it is just to denote locations, generic, you use knee. So some, some examples. Kono restaurant de tabemashita. So again, taberu is the verb. To eat tabemas is the polite form of taberu. Tabemashita is the past tense of taberu verb. So it means I eat. So kono restaurant de tabemashita. So I eat at this restaurant. Mainichi toshokan de benkyo shiteimas. Mainichi every day. Toshokan de at the library benkyo suru is to study so benkyo shitteimas means i'm i study every day it's continuous tense i study every day at the library so first one is at the restaurant second one is at the library and it's okay if the verb verb part is a little challenging now uh, with past tense and continuous all of this we will cover it one by one. So right now, they is used for specific locations to show the location of an action. The next usage. It shows the means of doing something. So first, the literal meaning was at. So now it is by or by means of. So, densha de gakko ni ikimasu. Densha de gakko ni ikimasu. So, gakko ni ikimasu. We know that. Going to school. So how am I going to school? Then de go by a train on a train. So the next example, ohashi de gohan wo tabemasu. Again, tabemasu is the verb to eat. Gohan means a meal. So wo particle we just covered in a previous video. So this is clear. Gohan wo tabemasu means I am eating a meal. But how? Ohashi chopsticks de. By using chopsticks, I have my meal. So the means of train, I reach my school. And by using chopsticks, I'm having my meal. So when you want to denote by means of doing something, again, you will use the. So the third one is used to denote the end of a time period. In, in the how to say time video, in Japanese, if you have missed it, please do watch it. I have given you how to read time in relative sense as well, and then where we have discussed um, Karan Made. Again, we'll take it up. Again, it's one part of a grammar pattern, but I did say Karan Made are used to, do, to denote time from and to. Like, Fuji Kara Rokuji Made. Similarly, when you want to denote the end of a time period, then you will use the Owari is the verb to denote that something has ended, finished. So, kaigi. Kaigi wa sanji de owarimasu. So, kaigi is meeting, wa sanji, 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, the meeting got over, the meeting finished at 3 o'clock. Um, so if you have missed how to read time in Japanese, please do watch that video. And the final one is to show reason. There are plenty of other means as well, but one of the ways to denote reason is by using the. Bioki de kaisha e 
いきませんでした。病気 You were ill. Sickness. Because I was sick. 会社 Is my workplace. Company. A. いきませんでした。So I was unable to go to work today because I was sick. So to show reason, you will use they. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another video.